Back in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator, but through the game, the Bezier game. If you're like me, you've used Illustrator and probably struggled with the wealth of tools available, uh, but one of the most important is the pen tool. And once you master, master that, uh, it can make everything else just a little bit easier. And the pen tool alone can help you um, design quite complex things as well. So this game will show you the different features of the pen tool and different shortcuts with your keypad. So let's get straight into it. Uh, level one just sees you clicking on different points and you can make straight or relatively straight lines. Level two, to build this house, we're gonna use a shift key and that just means when you click on each anchor, anchor point and hold down the shift key, what it does is the shift key locks it at 45 degree increments. So you can't kind of just miss by a little bit, you're either missing by a lot or you're straight on. So the shift key just makes things much neater. The next one we're pulling, this is gonna allow us to make um, curves. So if we click down and pull away and then go to the next point and pull away, we set an anchor point and also we create um, our tabs as well. So these tabs are the entry and exit points to those anchor points. So if I click, I create the anchor point and then pull the tabs out it means it's gonna enter with a certain velocity you think about it that way and exit with a certain velocity as well or magnitude rather and click so if i do that again click pull down click pull to the right click pull up click pull left and then complete the circle all right next one we're going to use the alt button this allows us to change the direction and magnitude of the exit point so click pull away, but we actually want to, to exit this top point facing upwards. So we click option or alt for a PC. So options for a Mac, alt for a PC, and then lift up. Then we click down the bottom, pull away so we can line up with their guide. Press option or alt, and then complete the circle. You'll notice that the line wants to exit in this direction and it wants to enter in that direction. That's why when we click here, it completes the heart. The car's a bit trickier. Um, I'm gonna try and show you the uh, nine node method. So if you click to start, and then we can kind of get all the way around by holding, clicking option, you get around that first corner, click here, pull out long and have option, click option so that you can finish your line or your point facing downward. So it wants to come out facing downward with a moderate uh, magnitude. Click all the way on the other side and hopefully we can make it in a way oh, maybe if we go here where we can stay in the gray area and exit in the right direction. Okay, there we go. So click, pull out, press option, down, click on the other side, option, and face that direction. We can probably get all the way around this one as well. Hopefully, maybe not in this go. Might have to go a little bit higher. Oh, there we go. Maybe not. This one's a bit trickier. I might have to do it with 10 nodes. I think it's because I'm a bit high here. So I'm just gonna go shortcut method, go back to there. You can probably get the hint if you wanted to do it with nine. Oh, that didn't work. So I'm gonna click here pull, click option, so I can change the exit point or the exit uh, magnitude and velocity of that um, final node. Click there, and again, that'll finish off our car. 11 nodes, it says the ideal solution is in, with nine. With a bit more finesse around this corner, we could probably get there as well. You can see very quickly, we get to the airplane. This is the next levels. I'm gonna leave you to, to this stage. I think this is a really useful tool for people wanting to learn Adobe Illustrator, specifically the pen tool, but because once you master that tool, uh, it will make you at least able to start designing your own works with straight lines, well, curved, straight, etc. You can start tracing things as well. So give it a go. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. Good luck.